Hey there, people of YouTube. So, today we're going to look at that Albright knot I was talking about in the last video. Um, we connected some braid to some mono with it on the last video about how to spool up a fixed spool reel with braid. I didn't like how um, we couldn't really see it, so I'm going to try and do a better one here. Not going to be much better with looks things, um, but hopefully you'll be able to see it. I you should be able to see it, it should be fine. And um, hopefully we get it done before the news comes on on the radio. Good music on tonight though. So, what we're going to do is have two lines here, we're going to connect them. So say this is connected to your spool or your rod and you're putting on a shock leader or you're attaching something to it. Simply make a loop. Like so. You then pass the line you want to attach through the loop. And then you're going to wrap that around the two strands of the loop. So around and around and around nine times. Right. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, come out, eight, nine. And you should end up with something looking like that. So now what we're going to do is pass that line back through that loop that's still here. Let's see if we can do that there now. I need to show you. Got that, and we'll just pass it through there grab that straighten them up now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this in my mouth wet the lines to prevent uh, the burning of the line get that done and then we're just going to start pulling and this knot is super neat you're going to see how neatly it's going to get together now give you some focus on it now you shouldn't actually tighten this up by pulling the tag ends, use the um, main line only till you get to about there and then you can just cinch the rest of it down to tighten it up. Give it one final big pull. And there you have it. All you need to do now is cut off your tag ends. You can cut these really, really close, as close as you can. Um, it's not going to affect the knot at all. Usually I'd leave some give onto a knot um, just in case of any slippage, but this will not slip. You can see there's absolutely no little bit of tag off that. Well, there is a small bit. Focus. And it's a really neat knot, very, very strong knot. Um, you'll find the line will break before this knot breaks. I know that kind of com completely out of, uh, doesn't make sense. Um, you're creating weak points by creating knots. But I've never actually broken this knot. I don't be pulling in sharks or anything, but I do a lot of bass fishing, fish for rays, um, fish for congers, never actually caught one but any time my line is snapped in a snag or on a fish it has been the line not the knot and um, this knot is excellent I've never broken off with this knot not to say it won't happen to you I'm just saying it's never happened to me I trust this knot completely um, for any type of fishing I do so that's the Albright knot really nice neat knot for going through the rings on your rods can't fault it um, and that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please make sure to subscribe so we can keep making more videos. And if you need anything, head over to slanyfishing.com. Drop us an email. Um, drop us a Facebook. Drop us a Twitter. Drop us an Instagram. Say hello however you like. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. Thanks a million.